President Buhari don't tell law people, say it go good, make them create special courts. ASU don't set up monitoring committee against IPPIS. Police don't bat people where they suspect saying I then kill one PDP woman leader inside Kogi State. And chairman for political parties don't blame security joint body on top of the Kilikili and Bege what happened for Bayelsa and Kogi elections. My country people, now good evening this evening and thank you say you join us for As It Take Happen. My name is Na Na Douglas. And for the first story, we are carry come for now. President Muhammad Buhari don't tell officers of law say it go make sense, make them create special courts so that it go help them judge matter on time. The one where they call speedy administration and dispensation of justice inside Nigeria. When they yarn for Monday for inside Abuja, when they kick start the 2019 Biennial All Nigerian Judges Conference of Superior Courts, President Buhari talks a special crimes court with Obonge judges go help remove anything with the delay court matter. The president talks say he they aware of the wahala where judiciary they face and sake of that one if he don't talk with chief justice of Nigeria on top how they go move forward. He adds say in government they very serious to bring some kind better change for the justice sector inside the country. Just as he talks say the constitution give permission to check and balance government powers among the three arms of government will go help create room to the engaged government. President Buhari tell judges say, make them use the opportunity where the conference they bring to reconfirm their constitutional position as people will get power to deal with any constitutional and social justice matter. Now, so you can't the hail judiciary sake of say, then they deal with matter where consign election on time. But they say, make them put more ginger for the work. When they yarn on top of the matter, Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tanko Mohammed, swear say, the judiciary will continue to support the Buhari administration. And on, on top of this next story we'll get now, President of the United Nations General Assembly, Onga, Professor Tijani Mohamed Bandi, don't again stress the need for government policies who will help boost human capital development, plus say to improve the standard of living of old people inside our country. Professor Mohamed Bandi, now he talked this one on Monday for Abuja, when he did talk with State House correspondents after he met with President Muhammad Buhari, for the presidential villa, Abuja. Just as he talks, say, old people plenty for the country. The younger president talks, say, for 30 years' time, 15% of Africans go reach 60 years. He can't they call for proper planning, so he can say, then guarantee the rights of every citizen, regardless of the age and the gender, whether I'm a man or woman. The president of the United Nations General Assembly talks, say, policies will concern quality education, healthcare, poverty, Eradication and zero poverty eradication and zero hunger, they're very, very important. Our focus, as has been stated repeatedly, is on the implementation of the agreed to sustainable development goals. And a lot needs to be done in relation to the matter. First, whether you are dealing with quality education or zero hunger or climate action or inclusion and or poverty eradication. You, there is a lot to be done and it's not just national action. National action is key, but collaboration is also important. And uh, this is what we'll continue to do. And for the meantime, the University of Ibadan chapter of Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, on Monday, don't set up one monitoring committee. We will make sure say none of their members register for the Integrated Payment and Personnel Information System, what they call IPPIS. UI ASU, now they announced this one for one committee congress of the union will happen for the Faculty of Arts inside the school. Person way chair the congress, Professor DG Omole, don't make up in mind, say he go follow the order where the national leadership of the union give. Say, make them see make them not see their name for IPPIS at all. When I feel remember, say, ASU been done make up their mind, say, because of the law where the university act, they no go do them. Just as federal government for their own part insists, say, every government worker must register for IPPIS. For the agreement we then get for the Congress, we'll be saying as Secretary of the Union, Professor Peter Olapegba, read. He talks, say, their members go stop work if they see, say, federal government stop their salary because of IPPIS. 
And for the next story, if you don't they follow the story since after the Kogi governorship election, police inside Kogi state don't grab six suspects where they say, now then get hand on top of the killing of one woman where her name na Mrs. Salome Abu for Ochadamu Ofu local government area of the state for November 18. Talk talk person for the command, William Aya, now him talk this one for one interview on Monday inside Lokoja. Aya talk say they bring the suspects on Friday. Madam Abu, now before before councillor and woman leader for People's Democratic Party, PDP, now the bad boy has been set fire for November 18 for her husband's house for Ochadamu. Police talk say, uh, police talk say they don't start to the ask those people question on top how the killing take happen. What did each person do on top of the killing of that woman? And talk say, as soon as they finish lighting the matter, every Nigerian go know what did everybody do for that matter. And when I go remember, say, President Muhammad Buhari on Sunday, being other police say, make them sharply grab people away, kill Madam Abu, so that they go face the hot part of the law, sake of justice. And for another story, one 34 year old woman, Chinenye, on Monday, don't appear before one Ikeja chief magistrate court, sake of say, they accuse her, say, she sell her one day old uh, baby Peking, will be woman, for 300,000 naira. They also arrange for court, person will buy the baby, will be saying her name, now happiness, will be 49 years old, alongside the seller, will be the mother of the innocent baby. The two people will be say they no give their address, then some of them with three count charge of conspiracy, child trafficking, and unlawful adoption. They say, they, uh, according to these two people, they say they know they're guilty of the charge. But the prosecutor will be Ezekiel Ayorinde, been tell court say Chinenye do this badness for October 4 for Sari Igomu Orile, Lagos State. It tell court say the arrest happened sake of one informate we then get. Say this happiness they carry one newborn picking will not be her own, where then suspect say she steal. And as so the chief magistrate, Mrs. B. O. Osun Sami, can't admit Chinenye to bail with a sum of 200,000 naira each, with two shorties, we get the same amount. She orders say the shorties must they work and they must get evidence of two years tax payment to the Lagos state government. The chief magistrate can shift the case until February 3, 2020 to continue with the matter. And still on court matter, federal high court inside Lagos don't order say make them remand one suspected internet froster. That is person where they do Yahoo Yahoo. It's Myla Mustafa where everybody know as Monfa inside prison. Justice Mohamed Liman now make the order on Monday, shortly after they bring Monfa Concord on top 14 count we get to do with fraud, money laundry, and the one we be say if they do forex, forex business without the permission of Central Bank of Nigeria. For the charges against them, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC talks say, between 2015 to 2018, Monfa buy one is Malob Global Investment Limited and retain for the bank account, total money will reach 32.9 billion naira. They also accuse Monfa say if they negotiate foreign exchange business of huge money with plenty of people, will be say he no get license from CBN. When they read the charges, Monfa talks say he no they guilty at all for the matter. Justice Lehman can't shift the matter till Friday, November 29, to take arguments for bail application so that the case will continue. And now we enter politics. Join body of more than 60 political parties on Monday. Don't blame security people and politicians for the Katakata, Bege, and other Wuru Wuru way happen for governorship election inside Bayelsa and Kogi states where just happen. Then talk say their action, not treason. Now be say, not serious offense be that. The political parties will come under the umbrella forum of chairman of Nigerian political parties. Talk this one for one press briefing inside Abuja after the cross-check election will happen for the two states. Just as in, as in demand, as, say, just as in the demand explanation from Inspector General of Police, Adamu Mohamed, as to why the 35,000 police officers were then sent to maintain law and order for the election, allow political agro boys to overpower them. The Contel of Bunge government say, make them set up inquiry why talks were no plenty, overpower 35,000 policemen. Kenneth Udeze of the Action Alliance, where young for the forum, talks say, make them sharply finish the process of the amendment of the Electoral Act. Introduction of electronic transmission of results straight from the election polling units to central database. 
electronic voting plus including electronic accreditation of figures to make sure say some kind of strange figures where they come out for election result like magic no happen again. Sake of, sake of the way, and the next one we consign a uh, navy. The Navy news where we will bring uh, to Unawe consign a promotion of Navy officers for a country. The Nigerian Navy don't decorate 17 newly rear admirals where they just promote, just as they charge them, say, make them redouble their ginger to reduce security problem inside water. The decoration follow one approval by Navy Council on top of the promotion of 140 senior officers of the service. When it is congratulated them, Minister of Defense, retired General, Major General Bashir Magashi, tell the officers, say, make them contribute their own to tackle problems where maritime sector they face for the country. He talks, say, their promotion happen now, especially when the country they fight insurgency for the Northeast. This requirement to stay true to their professional callings and weather the storms of the career progression. It is therefore a reward for you to eventually wear the prestigious rank of a rear admiral. Therefore, on behalf of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, the entire family, and indeed the Armed Forces of Nigeria, I hereby congratulate you on this achievement. The Oga Patapata with the call chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Etek Ibas, talks say the problem now due to the need for quality leadership for the peak of the service for them to achieve their target. It talks say the decision for military authority to employ men and women of the Navy get to do with the kind of security problem where the country they face. My people will now stay there on to as it take happen for Wazobia Max TV. We they come back with business news. <music> And on top business news, National Bureau of Statistics talks say investment with the enter inside Nigeria don't drop by $460 million from $5.82 billion for the second quarter of this year to $5.36 billion for the third quarter. The NBS talked this one for one for their capital import importation report with then release on Monday. The report reveals say the third quarter inflow of $5.36 billion represent drop of 7.78% when then compare them to the second quarter figure of $5.82 billion. The report talks say they received the biggest amount of capital importation through portfolio investment where they account for $2.99 billion, which also represent 55.88% of total capital importation. This one follow other investment will account for $2.16 billion of total capital, just as foreign direct investments account for $200.08 million of total capital where they import for the third quarter of this year. And still on business news, federal government say they don't seize goods will reach $3.5 billion since they closed the Nigerian Benin Republic border. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, now he this one today for the Nigerian, border, uh, Nigerian Benin Republic border for SEME, when he lead federal government delegation to the border to check how far since they closed the border. He had say they don't bar more than 296 illegal foreigners within that period. And as so the information minister talks say the border closure exercise don't they bring result. And as so he can the beg Nigeria and say, Make them support government on top of the border closure so that plenty of food go there for town and the economy go grow. My people, it remains sports news. Will they come back? And from the southeast, we hear say Enugu Rangers don't sack their coach, Benedict Ugu, sake of their 2 0 lose, home lose to Aqua Starlets for the Nigerian Professional Football League inside the Nnamdi Azikiwe Stadium. The club announced this one for the official Twitter handle on Sunday. Say Rangers co coaching crew don't give indefinite suspension, that is, suspension where they don't know where they go call back to the management of the team, while they go name new one for the next 48 hours. Ugu, aka Surugede will replace Benga Ogumbote as Rangers coach 
for the off-season qualified Rangers to the group stage of the CAF Confederation Cup. But the Flying Antelopes don't they struggle to impress for the MPFL this season. The Cool City Club don't record just one win, one draw and three defeats for, the opening, for their opening five games of the campaign. And Rangers, they presently, they presently occupy 15 positions for table. The club will begin the group phase of the Confederation Cup next Sunday when they will welcome big spending Egyptian club will be Pyramid FC. My people now saw it take happen on top as it take happen. But before I go, make I summer owner our top Tory again. President Buhari don't tell a lot of people say it go good and make them create special courts so that matter go they go on time. Also don't set up monitoring committee against IPPIS. Police don't bar people where then suspect say now then kill one PDP woman leader inside Kogi State. And chairmen for political parties don't blame security joint body on top of the Kilikili and we gave what happened for Bayelsa and Kogi elections. My people, thank you so you join us on top news as it take happen. From all of us here, we say good night. And my name, Na Douglas.